but we won't necessarily see the triple digits, but we will still feel some heat and humidity, especially as we head into our 4th of July tomorrow. But then all that humidity leads into rain chances, showers and possibly some thunderstorms later in the afternoon on Tuesday. So let's just dive right into it. But tonight we get to only get down to middle 60s, 66 degrees for a low tonight as we stay mostly clear with calm winds as well. So a pretty beautiful night up ahead, but that leads a pretty good springboard as we're only going to start off in the 60s. We're going to rise through the 70s, 80s, nearing the 90 degree mark in the afternoon for a high as we stay hot and humid, but that will lead into our afternoon rain chances. So let's go right into future track. We'll start here after 11 o'clock, closer to noon. We're still seeing dry conditions across the state line, but then towards the afternoon, then we're going to be watching for these isolated showers, maybe even some thunderstorms. As you see here, these will be very isolated here as we get closer to three o'clock. These will be continuing to develop throughout the afternoon. So keep in mind, not everybody will see rain tomorrow, but where we do, you could see some brief heavy downpours, maybe some gusty winds and also potentially some lightning and again as we see closer towards five o'clock now this is when a lot of parades are stepping off so keep that in mind keep in mind the heat and also be prepared for these rain showers to move through closer to seven o'clock we begin to see these weakening and then as we head towards the latter half of the of the night here closer towards 9 30 as these fireworks are beginning we look to be drying out so that's the good news for tomorrow night we look to stay dry for the fireworks but then our focus turns to wednesday night that's when we see potentially strong to severe thunderstorms as northern illinois is under a level two out of five risk for potentially damaging winds and potentially even some large hail with storms forming along a cold front that will be moving through the area Wednesday night. So again, let's dive right back into future track. After Tuesday's activity, we dry out into Wednesday. Here we're looking at noon. Could be seeing some rain off to our north and west, but that stays away from us. Closer to home, though, we do see potentially a first round of storms lining up here towards 2 o'clock, but then our main severe weather threat comes later on into the evening. Here's 5 o'clock, beginning to see widespread thunderstorms forming along that cold front. Moving through the area pretty quickly, though, and towards 10 o'clock, we stay, we mostly dry out. Can't rule out an isolated shower, though, after that initial round of storms, so keep that in mind. We could see some stronger thunderstorms tomorrow as we get up to 87 degrees, but that cold front, look at it, drops our temperatures down to much more seasonable territory as we head towards the latter half of the week. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, you'll see potentially some more showers and thunderstorms towards the end of the weekend into the beginning of next week. But we've got a whole bunch of time between then. We just got to deal with that heat and those rain chances tomorrow. And the four degree guarantee, we said 88 and we hit right on the bullseye, 88 degrees for a high today. So we bring that jackpot up to 26 degrees and we hope to keep it going into this week, William and Brittany. Well, I only did some math. You only have to get 23,000 days right in a row <laughs> if you want to save up enough to buy a flying car, oh, just in wow. case you were wondering. <laughs>